a lot of folks may not know, but fibbing to your kids, well, that could be a problem. What if I told you your toddler actually knows when you're lying? A new study analyzed children's behavior at two and a half years of age and found that they are more advanced cognitively than previously thought. They found that toddlers were able to spot when parents were telling a lie. On the flip side, toddlers lie, why? Because they're not yet able to differentiate between reality and fantasy until they're three or four. That's the time their imagination is in overdrive. But did you, uh, did you all lie to your kids, or do you lie to your kids? <laughs> well, they so always me, figure forget, it out, but... though. I, I actually think this is a great study because even little things like sneaking their Halloween candy or like eating that last chocolate chip pancake at IHOP and then like, oh, it's gone. No, they know. They know. They always know. <laughs> you always get caught in those little So do you, do you find yourself in the middle of trying to say a little fib? And gauging their response, this, whether like, or not they may or may not be figuring it out, and if they, okay. The worst thing is looking at a three-year-old's face and like a really mommy expression. And they, they call and they you know. out on it. Yeah, and they know. But and I mean, so that's part of being awesome. parent. At times, you have to sort of well, well, there's some ugly distort truths. the truth yeah, a little yeah, bit you, you just don't to necessarily prevent. Want children yeah, you don't. To. Yes. When would you all, in the reverse? If your toddler is constantly telling lies, is there a point where you say, okay, you know, this is going a little too far here with, with the, the lie? Well, well, like I think you said, though, because I think at those very young ages, under the age of three, they really can't differentiate sometimes between reality and fantasy. And there have actually been some studies that have shown that kids who fib a little more at that age cognitively are much more developed. They're actually really bright kids, and they're just trying to process the world. Yeah, they're the thinking so, quickly on yeah. the feet. The, when it becomes a problem is that they get older and mm -hmm. they, they really have problems telling the truth. So, I mean, I, I think if you see it as a pattern, then you need to address and, it. And I think it's the intent, too. As a parent, you always are just trying so hard to raise your child to be a good person. So when it's a completely benign fib that shows they're imaginative, you might let it go. But when it's actually a very problematic, dangerous, I punched another kid or someone got hurt, then you have to shut that down. So I think it's using your judgment as to whether this is a, a lie that's and, going to lead and to leading a personality by example, that's saying not okay. That, hey, you know, it's always best to tell the truth. Absolutely. The, yeah. Even if you made a mistake, the single best way to deal with that mistake is to admit it. <laughs> because the minute you, you lie about it, you've made it 10 times worse. Absolutely. And, and being able to be judicious as to when they're too young to understand and when they really should know better. And I think that's the hardest part about it. it yeah. Sometimes. Well, I should jump in here because most people think I'm without children, but I actually have two children that I raised in private, and I'm just lying. <laughs> See, he's one of those pathological liars who never grew out of. What gave it away for you is, that at first you, I had you, but then I, I, you looked at me and I started laughing. <laughs> Okay. I actually thought well, you were going to be true, talking about like a pet because I feel like my dog is like well, my first child yes. but they can't really lie to you anyway. Yeah, they can't advice. talk, so that that one's pretty... <laughs> <laughs> although they, although even do? dogs try to pull one on you every now and then, so... <laughs> well, this is cool, it's, you know, if your kid's young, really, really young, and they tell a good lie, it may just mean they're going to be really, really smart kids. Really imaginative, yeah.